Saturday evening we usher in the fast of Tisha B'Av. Tisha B'Av is the saddest day in the Jewish calendar, commemorating many tragedies in our people's history, most specifically the destruction of both temples in Jerusalem. Tisha B'Av plays such a central role in Jewish tradition that both this Shabbos, the Shabbos preceding Tisha B'Av, and next Shabbos, the Shabbos following Tisha B'Av, has special names. This Shabbos is known as Shabbat Chazon, next Shabbos, Shabbat Nachamu. These names are based on two visions from the prophet Yeshayahu from Isaiah. In this week's we have Chazon Yeshayahu, the vision of Isaiah, and it's a vision of despair. It's a vision seeing the Jewish people as sinners and being told that they're going to be punished by the wrath of God for what they have been doing. Next week is Shabbos Nachamu, based on the words from the Haftorah of Nachmu, Nachmu, Ami, comfort ye, comfort me. The prophet is giving a very positive vision, a vision of rebirth, of rebuilding, of comfort, of the glory of God to the Jewish people. What's interesting is both prophecies came from the same prophet, the vision of despondency and despair came from Yeshayahu. The vision of hope and promise for the future came from Yeshayahu. So what was he doing? Was he covering his base as a prophet to make sure that one way or the other what he said would come true? No. He was teaching us an important lesson in life. There are times for despair and there's times for hope. And we should always keep both in mind. Frequently today, I hear people speaking in despair of the condition of the world, the condition of America. And they speak as if this is the beginning of the end. They forget that there's next week. There's a time of hope. There's a time of things getting better. And this is what life is all about. It's never one or the other. It's both. And sometimes it's from the same prophet and sometimes at the same time. That's life. And the sooner we learn to accept that and live with it, the message of hope can be fulfilled for all of us. May you have an easy fast, and may we all have the virtue of witnessing the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. Shabbat Shalom.